Hello, hello friends and welcome to another video. It is Tuesday, the 26th of January. It's currently like 9.30 a.m. and I've already been working. I had a call, answered some client check-ins, I did like my, my morning routine, walk, all that stuff, but I decided I'm going to do a full day of eating today. I don't know why I feel like I always vlog the day before I travel, but I think it's because I can edit to when I'm on the plane and I haven't vlogged in a while. Um, so I thought today do a full day of eating when in doubt you just do a full day of eating that we don't have much food in my fridge. So we're just going to go with it. We're eating intuitively. So just eating to fuel my body. But I figured I would show you what I eat today, take you along my day. I actually have a very busy one, but a lot of it is gonna be just sitting right here and working. I have like six or seven calls. Um, so when that happens, I'm like, I gotta have something to show you. I'm just gonna show you my food. But I'm about to make breakfast. Let's get to it. One, we have nothing new here. We have egg whites, and then I just have spinach and mushrooms in here, trying to finish that off before the trip. And then I have half oats and half cream of rice with some blueberries and a whole egg that I fucked up. Morning supplements, and then this just has um, ketchup and green sauce. So I thought I would throw some tips for transitioning to intuitive eating um, from tracking macros. I know it's something I get asked a lot of questions about and it's been like three months now for me since I've been eating intuitively easier and I've gotten more and more intuitive, um, which is really, really cool. But I know a lot of people get nervous about like, oh my gosh, like what if I pour myself way too many oats? Like there's just this anxiety about not weighing stuff out. And what I will say is when you've been tracking macros for a long time, you understand portion sizes so much more than you realize, right? I kind of know about how many, how many oats. And you know, if one day I pour more oats into the bowl, it's like, yo, my hand knows when to stop. My body knows what it needs. Um, um, with egg whites, I just pour egg whites into the pan till I'm like, okay, that looks good for today, right? But trusting your intuition and just trusting your knowledge of portion sizes is huge. And I know it's really scary to stop weighing stuff out. And so I tell clients like you can do it gradually, but a big piece of it is just trusting that like, you know your shit, right? Like you know what you need. And some days my bowl of oats is way bigger than other days because like I'm just hungrier, you know? And like, that's okay. Hello, we are back. It has been a very busy, productive morning up in Alignment Athletics HQ. Wouldn't you say, Melindy? Oh, buddy. We've oh, been buddy. cranking out work. Yeah, we honestly have. We just had a lot, a lot of calls, check-ins, all of that stuff. Um, like I said, Melissa and I go to, or actually I don't know if I said this, Melissa and I are leaving to Cabo tomorrow. So we are going to get COVID tested here in a second, but I wanted to make up a quick little snack, right? But my next little tip for you here is just to ask yourself before you eat, like what you want. And I think that's been the biggest transition for me moving to intuitive eating. Um, like for the first little bit, and I, this is not a bad thing, right? But I stuck with like the same few staple meals um and like I ate the same thing every day I just like didn't really weigh it out whereas now I 1000% do have my staple meals so this is gonna be like two tips in one but have your staple meals your easy go-to's right because I know I'm like a very busy on the go person um so tip number two is have your staple meals things that you know are super super easy to make that you enjoy tip number three is to ask yourself what you want and allow yourself to be flexible, right? So I literally was about to just whip up my like rice cakes and peanut butter and egg whites that I always do. And I was like, do I really want this? Is this really gonna work with like my schedule today? Cause we just have a bit of a crazy day, different. And I was like, no. So what do I want? I want my wafflies. Do I want cream cheese and jelly or do I want sugar-free syrup? I want both, right? And just allowing yourself to have that flexibility and practicing getting in touch with your body and what it wants. So anyways, what I have here is my two Vans waffles. So this is like my main carbs. One, I have cream cheese and jelly. 
we have um, strawberry, and then I just have egg whites on the side, and I just put sugar-free syrup on my other waffle. So that's what we have going on. Um, we're going to get COVID tested, and then we are actually going to a berries class. First one ever. But I'll update you guys when I eat again. Okay, so COVID test has been gotten, and I've gotten many COVID tests because I don't ever talk about it, but I, and I feel like people just assume that I'm extremely irresponsible with COVID stuff, and I know I'm probably going to get shit for not being the most responsible person ever, but, but with all the traveling that I have done, um, I do always get tested um, before and after just to make sure that I am safe and staying safe. Um, like by worst series, like getting someone else sick. But anyways, um, yeah, every time I go get tested, I'm like, oh yeah, I know what I'm getting into. And it never is more comfortable. Like my nose bleeds. So anyways, that, but I am outside the UPS store about to drop off more planners. So we've just been having like alignment planner orders rolling in which is super dope we're working on getting them up on amazon which will be very exciting but that is my update and also i'm low-key obsessed with this jacket yes this is outfit number 257 but i have to take a picture for a giveaway and this is actually new buff bunny collection this whole outfit is i'll show you later but just wanted to update you guys that i just have spent the last five minutes nursing a bloody nose it's worth it for cabo actually the resort that we're staying at we have to get tested before we leave, too, to come back to the United States. Um, so that'll be interesting. I know they provide COVID tests there, but I just thought that was kind of cool. Because last time, I just had to wait till I got back to be tested. Literally right after I recorded that clip, we're negative. We are in the clear. So, and I'm probably going to get asked. I have not had COVID. I have not had the COVID. I think there's a genetic component because I know my mom had it. My dad was around her, like lives with her, did not get it. Um, my brother has had multiple people on his hockey team be diagnosed with it and he never got it. And my sister's had a lot of friends, including her roommate with COVID and she never got it. Um, so like I am careful, but it's very interesting to me, um, that some people are just way more susceptible to it than other people. Anyways, okay. Plan Very convenient. The UPS store is right next to Ralph's, so I picked up a bottle of wine because Melissa and I are doing a wine Q&A um, on the Alignment Athletics Instagram, which I always have linked in the description box, but we post a ton of just like really valuable content there, um, honestly, and we do a live in there once a week with wine but also i feel like i freaking made it because they know me in the ups store which i'm like i'm here literally every single day dropping off planners i was like oh wow it is about time caramel rice not caramel plain rice cake with peanut butter for the road i'm actually out of caramel rice cakes which is very sad but not really hungry this little boy will do i just want to make sure i have some fuel in the tank for this berries class yo we are back from berries I freaking loved it. We've done F45 so far, Pilates and berries, because a goal of Melissa and mine was to just try like different ways of moving our body, right? Like I know for me, I've been bodybuilding for like five or six years and I freaking love it. Like I will always weight train. Like I, I freaking love it. And anyways, there's that, but I do just have this like pull towards feeling like an athlete again and like getting my endurance in a good spot and just trying different things um because I've kind of like just been in the bodybuilding bubble for a really long time um and so far berries is my favorite but we're about to get on this wine Q&A for alignment and should have thought this one through but we just got back from berries where it killed me like it was a leg day and it's kind of like a mix of like legs and cardio and my legs are like shaking. So I'm not about to have the first thing I put in my body after that be wine. So we're having Formula One and Ignition, which this is what I have every time after I weight train, right? It's a fast digesting carb and fast digesting protein just to spark that recovery process. So we're gonna have Formula One and Ignition party. Melissa has hers over yeah. there. Um, link for free shipping is in my bio but that'll be my next tip is just you know because you're eating intuitively doesn't mean to 
not be smart, right? Like use the knowledge that you have. And I know that me putting something that really isn't benefiting my body in any way and really will hinder my recovery, right? Um, probably isn't the smartest thing. So I, I will regret it tomorrow when I wake up super fucking sore if I have wine. So we're gonna do this, gonna hop on this live. And then we have our Zoom call with our clients later, but I'll probably make food before that. So I'll show you, but this is like our protein. Okay, we are back in the kitchen. We did our lives, it was so much fun. Um, I started packing for Mexico tomorrow and then I was like, yo, I need some real food. So honestly, weirdest meal ever, like I said, my fridge is empty, almost. I have a little bit of salmon and Brussels sprouts left, but that's coming at the next meal. Um, so what I have here, we have some jasmine rice, um, and then I just made a frozen bag of asparagus and I'm out of chicken. I have some that I could cook, but I just put it in the freezer because I honestly am not going to eat it. Um, so I just did one of these tuna packets because I figured, you know, we should have something else besides egg whites and protein powder for protein. Um, so this has 17 grams of protein in this little packet and then um, I'm going to go in the recycling for you. Um, I just, I had a little, little bit of this cottage cheese left. So I put that on there. So there's a decent amount of protein in that meal, but I'm gonna eat that while I hop on the Zoom call. And again, it is like the most random bowl of food, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, you know? Yo dude, Zoomy Zoom was done Tuesday nights are always like, my fave, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit stressed. Today's been literally one thing after another, but those always put me in the best mood because I did not finish my food, and that's gonna be my next tip. I kind of forgot we were doing tips in this video, but I think that's the biggest adjustment when you start intuitively eating. Like, when you track macros, it's like you eat what's in front of you, and when you're done, you're done, and you finish everything that's in front of you, and then when you're done, you're done. And for me, it's been not necessarily hard, but just an adjustment. I think it's something that is hard for a lot of people, but A, if you're full, you don't have to finish everything that you make. And B, for me, I was like mind blown. I was like, wow, if I'm still hungry after I eat, like I can go have something else, right? Um, like I know for me, I just, one, couldn't finish it because it was just a lot of asparagus and it was like not, I mean, you guys saw that. That was not like gourmet at all, but I'm like, yo, we want some snacky snacks. So now I'm gonna have a few of my snacky snacks. These are like my addiction. I have at least a few every day. Um, they're just dark chocolate, super dark and sea salt almonds. Anyways, didn't finish this bullshit. Hey, cause that, that was just a lot of food and it was not good. But now Sarah, it's coming over to catch up because I haven't seen her in forever. So we're having a little bit of girl time. Hey, we are showered and we are packed. Um, I honestly, like Sarah came over, obviously did not film it. She just came over to chat for a little bit because she got back from a trip to Hawaii. So I wanted to like catch up with her and all that. But um, as far as food, we're staying at an all-inclusive resort. So I'm not bringing any food all i am bringing are my like essential supplements so i always bring microfactor i'm not worrying about any of the other like frou-frou stuff um but this is like my staple that i take every day um and then obviously my greens i always just put them in a plastic bag with the scooper um and then i bring my vegan protein just because it can be hard to get in protein on vacation and i like to have a little like snack a roux before i go to bed so sometimes i'll just make protein brownie batter with literally just the protein and then usually they have like stevia or something at the hotel um and then just put water in it obviously a bottled because mexico that um i'm gonna head over to will's i just want to see him before I go, before I go, Nini girlfriend. Next meal, we have another bowl of stuff, honestly, just like finishing up the food that I had prepped. So I have salmon, there's some jasmine rice under there, and then I have Brussels sprouts. Salmon, I just make in the air fryer. I think I've showed you guys that before. And then the Brussels sprouts, I just roast in the oven with a little bit of like olive oil and seasoning. So that's my next 
meal. It's honestly good. And there's the rest of my bag of spinach in there, too. Uh, so, there's a lot of fiber in that meal, but I like it. I look forward to it every day. Um, have not gotten sick of it yet. And my next tip is to just keep it simple. So, a lot of people, when they start, like, not tracking, it's really easy to, like, you know, be like way over or under on protein or like super high carb and low fat. And you still want to make sure that you're getting all your macros in, right? Like macronutrients are macronutrients for a reason, right? And a big reason we track macros is to make sure we have a balanced diet. So at all my meals, I just make sure, or most of them, it gets easier to kind of like play around with things. But big tip is to make sure that you just have balanced meals, right? So have a carb source, have a protein source, and have a fat source. And then just adjust the portion sizes based on what you're feeling. But would you, is that a good tip? Go team. Are you gonna miss me? What was it? He's like, no. He's like, just leave. Your bicep's bigger than my head. Yo dudes, okay. So we are ready for bed. Cabo is waiting for us in the morning. I showed you guys my last meal, um, which is just my normal cream of rice. And then I just put that in the freezer um, and worked while I let that chill for probably like 30 minutes. I just had some loose ends I had to tie up before I head off because we are not working this trip and I genuinely don't think I've ever gone on a trip and not done any work. Um, but Melissa and I booked this trip for each other for Christmas and we are just gonna drink margaritas and chill some balls. But pro tip, I actually did make another bowl of cream of rice, just like how I normally make it. What I do is I just make cream of rice, put it in the freezer and then add um, the Greek yogurt, right? And I'm literally just gonna do the same thing in the morning for the plane. So instead of putting it in the freezer, I just put it in the fridge overnight. So that way I can just wake up and go we have a pretty early flight um yeah it was a really busy crazy day i will say berries did want to girl because i was freaking hungry tonight like i had that salmon and brussels sprouts and i was like whoa it's a lot of fiber and kind of like my meals just haven't been as voluminous i would say the last couple weeks um i don't know i just haven't I don't know, that's one thing I've noticed is I just don't crave as much like volume and part of that is probably just like being a ways after prep and just being satisfied and stuff like that but I was like that's gonna make me full like I'll probably just have a little snacky snack when I get home and I will, my body plowed through that um and then I had some more almonds which I didn't show you guys that's I guess like the last tip I'll give is you just have to realize like your hunger is going to fluctuate it some days is gonna be way hungrier right like for me after a leg day um I'm gonna be really hungry usually right um or if I have a day where I eat less usually the next day I'm really hungry for me around when I get my period I have no appetite whatsoever just honoring your body and realizing that it is just gonna average out it really is a process for me and I'm kind of excited to document it and just see how you know the way I feel myself changes um like I said I'm really just focused on like being healthy and happy right now and it feels good. I'm not saying like, I'm never gonna check macros again or anything like that. I know myself and I know I like to have goals. Um, but right now it feels really good to have the goal of just really getting in touch with my body and honoring it and treating it well because I've put it through a lot. So anyways, that is going to conclude this intuitive day meeting. Sorry for the long rambles, but uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you wanna see, comment, share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.